Mind your head, ladies and gentlemen. Completely lost the way now. Hi guys, what do you think of that uh, statue then? It's called Mallards. And uh, maybe those are the only Mallards we'll see today. I've come to Ross on Y. Here is the River Y. And it's pretty full as you can see, making its way down. Eventually to join the River Severn, just by the old Severn Bridge. So I've come out to uh, Ross, which is uh, one of the towns near where I live. And uh, I'm going to do something called the John Cool Circular Walk, which I think is about three miles. I printed out the uh, the guide on the uh, from the website. I don't generally uh, do guided walks when I do these videos. I generally sort of make it up as I go along, but uh, there are some guided uh, walks available around Ross on Y, and this is one. It's quite short. It's just the three miles. Um, it's going to start a little further along here. I think I'll be walking alongside the Y for a while and then sort of doubling back behind the town and eventually coming back down this way. Yeah, so I've got my map and I'm at point number one, I think, just by Wilton Bridge. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go clockwise, I think. I think this is my route. And we'll be walking alongside the Y for a while. It's pretty cold today. The, uh, thermom the thermometer in my car was telling me it was just three degrees outside. And I have to say my fingers are quite cold. Pretty muddy, so good thing I put my walk-in shoes on. This is definitely not a job for the Brompton. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, that was pretty muddy then. Sliding all over the place. Coming alongside the river again now. You can see how uh, overrun it is. Look at those trees. They're all buried in water. A few mole hills here. They seem to be having a good time, don't they? Yeah, look at that. That's well flooded, isn't it? Yeah, it really is flooded over. I think this is quite a well-used path. Judging by the uh, number of footprints and how muddy it is. So slippery this mud that I'm having to walk quite slowly. And I can see where people have slipped. It really is slowing me down quite a lot. But never mind. I have a feeling that the path will be turning towards the left soon. And I'll be heading over in that direction. And perhaps it'll be a bit easier. It's 
So I think I've reached point number two now on the walk. This is uh, turning sharply to the left. Just look at that path. So I've, I've been walking over by here and my feet, my shoes are so heavy because they're clogged up with mud. Uh, you can see it, yeah. So anyway, I think that is the way to go. Oh dear, dear. Imagine riding a bike across this. Well, be next to him, impossible on a Brompton. I think you'd just be sliding everywhere. In a mountain bike, probably be all right, but you'd end up in a terrible mess. Yeah, terrible mess. I'm hoping that things are going to get a bit better soon and I'll have a better path. Yeah, so the path goes to the left now. That matches my map. Let me go up here. So, uh, heading back towards the town centre now. The track is certainly much better. Much, much better. Well, pretty muddy track over this side as well. Interesting cliffs there. You can see the spire ahead. That's, I suppose, the big landmark of Ross on Wye. Whenever you're on the road and you're getting close, you see that spire from a long way away. So this walk is known as the uh, John Curl Circular Walk. According to the information I found, John Curl was known as the Man of Ross and he was a 17th century philanthropist. And this walk is believed to be, believed to have been one of his favorites. Uh, right, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I go left or right here. I think I'll probably stick with the left. Very, very muddy. I think I may have mentioned that a few times already. Well, I'm getting very close to the, the town area again, so I'm very much hoping that this muddy track is going to uh, expire soon and be replaced with something better. Any skateboarders amongst you? Right, well I think I must have missed a turn somewhere as I have a feeling I should be somewhere up there because the path is now taking me under the road Wilton Road but on here it doesn't so I'm going to go under the road and see if I can get back up onto the road and then maybe retrace the path a bit like being on a canal this isn't it going under a bridge mind your head ladies and gentlemen uh, right i think i'm gonna have to walk back down here to get onto the road i don't see any steps anywhere Uh, the weather's uh, improved a little bit. It's a bit brighter now. There's the mallard. 
the mallards that uh, I showed you earlier and I started the walk a few hundred yards in that direction and then went down there I've come back up now I'm gonna go up this hill and into the town and try and rejoin the John Curl Circular Walk so I think I'm in luck I think I can just go up here it looks a little steep a mm, bit muddy but not too bad and hopefully rejoin the John Curl Circular Path somewhere towards the top yeah I can see there's a sign there for the a path I think I should have been coming up this way anyway I think I'm back on track now still muddy so that does suggest I'm on the right track doesn't it I wonder if John Curl used to complain about the mud as much as I do I wonder well there's a stroke of luck that signpost says John Curl walk well that's the first time I've seen it on a signpost so it appears I go this way oh this is nice nice tarmac I'm gonna have to give these shoes a good clean when I get back home later they currently feel twice the weight that they normally are yeah another sign to show I'm going the right way straight on I think path takes me through a graveyard the prospect look at those gates I don't know how old they are I mean the gateway itself uh, I think these gates were renewed in 2000 but look at that stonework fantastic here we are at the church and uh, I believe this is St Mary's Church look at that spire right well I've completely lost the way now I've the signs seem to have um, stopped and uh, I, I think I'm walking in the right direction I'm gonna go along this road and then hang a left and down into the town and then down towards the river which I think the uh, the John Curl walk uh, does anyway if I regain any signs for the walk I'll um, I'll go on that but uh, yeah also getting rather hungry now so I am aware there's a very nice fish and chip shop in uh, in Ross which I have been known to frequent before so once I get back to the car and get these shoes off I think that's what I'll, I'll be doing here I am coming back into the town centre look at that sign for pale fork sausages that's an old one Right, so well, this should sort me out. Riverside walk. Get back down to the river. Riverside walk. Oh, and look, there's the mallards again. Actually, though, I think it's a different uh, set of mallards. Yeah, there's the spire of the church. So I think those mallards match the the other ones just a bit further so with a bit of luck now I'm coming up to the river and I can rejoin the path back to the start and once again here's the river Y 
making its way down gently down to the sea I can't complain about the path anymore it's pretty good not much farther to go now I think it's a little bend in the river there right so this one is called swans in flight so actually they do look different uh, to the other birds and they were made by Valentin Pytel in 1997 nice bend in the river here I think I can just about make up my car down there I managed to park on a uh, zone where you can park for four hours for, for nothing, which is nice. I make quite a nice change. Here you are, there's proof that I'm back on the right track. John Curl Walk. Buggy route. Mm. Maybe they should retitle that John Curl Walk Muddy Route. Nice pub on the left. Very, very inviting, I must say. But I think I have an appointment at the fish and chip shop, thank you. I think those upturned tables are a sign of uh, what the weather's like. Not much happening there today. This is where the canoes land when they're coming down the river. I can remember we hired a canoe well, quite a few years ago from further up and this is where we boarded in you can see the bottom landing stage is completely covered at the moment well there we are I've made it back to uh, the mallards here and um, found my way around eventually I think I went off track a few times so I didn't exactly follow the John Kill walk but that's not entirely my fault um, it's mainly due to my um, uselessness at reading maps but also uh, I think the signage was not great uh, they could improve that but there we are hope you enjoyed this little walk if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, leave a comment uh, perhaps you've been to Rossum by yourself got something to say and if you haven't subscribed already then please think about doing so, that would be great. Next video I hope to be back on a canal and um, weather permitting with the Brompton because it's about time I got it out. I'm just going to have to put lots of clothes on to stay warm I think. So I quite fancy getting up to Wolverhampton on the, uh, on the towpath. So uh, that's what I'm hoping to do next. But until then um, it's goodbye from Ross on Wise, goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from the Mallards. Goodbye.